I feel as if my nail should have been a dead giveaway to the sneaker you're seeing today on this video. That's right, the Jordan MA2 Women in Power. I stand by this until another shoe can change my mind. The Jordan MA2 is the brand new sneaker silhouette of 2021. I said what I said. Don't try to convince me otherwise. Now let's dive in. Hopefully you're already subscribed. If not, do that. Hit the like. Enjoy. Two Swoosh Crew, I can't lie, I almost forgot what it's like to receive a regular, a purposeful Jordan branded shoebox. And here we are with the women's Jordan MA2 again in the Women in Power colorway. So just giving you guys an overview of the box because if you remember from the University Blue and Gold pair I reviewed and unboxed for you guys recently on here. It was just a plain black GS box. But instead, this Jordan MA2 pays homage to Women's History Month. And that's uh, the purpose of this specific colorway. So as you guys can see for the Jordan MA2 here, we have a white base. Again, it has that ripstop material, a lot of different textures woven in, much hairier and textured suede on the women's and the men's pair than the GS pair. And I made sure to point that out as well on the GS review I did. So you have the white base. And again, you have gray and black accents, especially going all around the toe and the lace eyelids but we have bright hints of red blue purple and vault and ladies we have lace options and i promise to show you lace swaps within this video the uh, insole here will be in the vault colorway with black text and then on the back heel we have the purple foot to foot ejection pad with a star in 98 that will actually be featured on the heel of both pairs of shoes and the beauty of the Jordan MA2 in itself, put it right by the door and you're able to slip it on, slip it off. And I promise you, it is one of the most comfortable shoes you will ever put on. Way more comfortable than any retro. And I love the Jordan 3. I love the 5 and the 13 for comfort. But this is unmatched comfort by Jordan brand. Even more comfortable than the Jordan Delta. So as you can see here put together, uh, the flaps on the tongue will actually uh, spell out women in power. Now this is a comparison for you all to see up close. The Jordan MA2 and the GS and the women sizing, totally different material when it comes to the suede. Now, everything else is almost identical except for the accented tag there on the uh, side of the sneaker. That reads a little bit different just because it does have the detailing of women in power on that pair versus on the GS pair. But all in all, really great pair, even for GS. I'm glad they kept it almost identical. So many times they slack on that, but not this time. So I'm really happy to see that for the sneaker in itself. And with the lace swap, I chose to do one red and one in vault. I know these are very bright standout color <laughs> lace options for the sneaker in itself, but I think it brings it to life even more. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish and run What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ Two Shoes Chains. Hope you're having an amazing day when you're viewing this video. Again, if you're not already subscribed and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. I truly appreciate a like. Trust me, it helps more than you know. Two Swoosh Crew, thank you for tuning in to another video. Listen, it was zero cap. I get that I'm rocking like my floral Yankees cap. Okay, start of baseball season. Feels like a holiday in sports. I wasn't capping though. The Jordan MA2 has my heart. I'm I'm in love with that sneaker and I want more colorways. I plan to pick up more colorways. Um, just everything about the shoe. Now, I'll, I'll be sure to link the original Jordan MA2 review I did on my channel here because that just goes so much more further in depth of the sneaker in itself. But, you know, just a quick overview. This is the latest lifestyle sneaker released by Jordan brand that really plays up comfort for the everyday sneaker you 
just put by the door, you throw on, you throw off. It has nothing to do with any retro. It has nothing to do with anything Jordan wore during his career. And that's what I appreciate about this. Now they're pulling from the Jordan, uh, the, the Max 200, which listen, just not a sneaker that I liked whatsoever, but they did this ride with the upper with the comfort with the colorways like I, I love so many of the colorways that are already slated to come out but then that have dropped again man I'm jealous of that ultramarine I really wish that came in smaller sizing and for this pair that you guys will see here it's a women's sneaker so this is the uh, women empower in the women's sizing. I picked up a seven and a half. So for myself, just go true to size, get your true to size, uh, pay or true to size in this sneaker fits great. And listen, I'm, I think this may be a sneaker where I just start going like TJ, like, when is it enough? Like I throw out pair after pair after pair, but at $125, can you really blame me? I don't think you can because outside of a Nike Dunk, which those seem impossible to get, uh, you can't top the price point of this. I mean, even if I want to pick up an Air Max, that's still probably going to run me $155 if we're looking at a 97 Now, uh, Air Max 1s aren't that expensive. They aren't as high, but... 125 you can't beat it. I picked this up when Nike uh, had a restock, so I encourage you to continue to look around for whenever the Jordan MA2 restocks or drops in a new colorway. If you're interested, you may have to go on the secondary market, but the prices may not be insanely high, so take advantage of that. I mean, I know someone went to GOAT. You can go to StockX. You can go to Flight Club. I mean, people have actually found deals on Flight Club. I know that's weird to say <laughs> in this day and age, but people have found deals, so hopefully you're able to pick up this insanely comfortable versatile sneaker have fun with with styling this sneaker as well now you guys will see three different looks for this sneaker here and i yes i played up the whole women in power so um instead of i guess using the stool that i use often for b-roll for outfit looks to capture content instead i just went ahead and used the office chair okay Woman in power. You, you, I don't know what I'm in, I'm in charge of uh, in terms of work, but let's play up the concept of women in power. So let's jump right into how I decided to style the Jordan Max Air 2. Really good question. Do I like this colorway more than the first colorway I picked up? I'm not really sure, and I just feel that's a really cruel question if anyone were to ask me that. But the very first outfit playing up again, women in power. Let's let's take it to blazer season. Well, I feel like it's always a good time to rock a blazer, but I want to be comfortable. Therefore, I'm wearing a Nike sportswear fleece blazer. Yes, I picked this up off eBay. No one should be surprised that I find everything in life on eBay, but this was an eBay find from years and years and years ago. The shirt here is actually the Jordan Essentials Women Crop. It's a crop top that you can find right now on Nike. It goes on sale from time to time as well, ladies. And then the pants, uh, you have the Jordan Utility Women's Pants. Again, I picked these up off Nike as well. It dropped as part of the New York Capsule Collection. I believe that was a 2020 drop. Amazing. I mean, I wanted so many more items from there. But if you had to say, hey, TJ, can you be business casual? Sure. Am I allowed to be Jordan in business casual <laughs> would be my question. Second outfit here, going back to these amazing pants and the bargain i think i paid no joke five dollars for these so they're actually the champs in-house brand i picked these up from champ sports during employee appreciation i believe a year or maybe even two years ago now i'm losing track of time i paired this with the nike paint splatter shirt now you may recognize this as it is similar to the other shirt i wore for the Jordan MA2 blue and yellow review and breakdown of how to style that shoe. But this is just a different color option for the shirt. I deeply apologize. This is a kid shirt that I picked up at Kids Foot Locker. So I don't think it's even available for um, men's or larger sizing. I know it's an amazing shirt. It's dynamic. It goes with so many different shoes. It, it's insane, but I'm sorry. I, I can't link it for you. <laughs> uh, threw on the blue light block glasses it always adds something special to an outfit and again this is something i throw on in a heartbeat this screams 
spring to me. Try saying that fast like a few times, but this is absolutely a spring fit, at least in my eyes, due to the vibrancy of the outfit. And rounding it off, third, can we ever get away from hoodies? Like, can one ever own too many hoodies? And the answer is actually probably yes, because I gave away or sold 15, but I also added more. So we're gonna ignore my logic there. <laughs> this is the Nike basketball um, standard issue hoodie that actually is part of the meant to fly campaign for women's basketball by Nike. And then some distressed denim I picked up at American Eagle. I love buying jeans from there, whether it's distressed, non-distressed, the Tom girl or tomboy fit. Um, now these are actually more of the fitted jegging look so i like to switch it up from time to time you know keep everybody guessing everything is not always oversized and baggy but here you go three ways to style Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Again, this is one of my favorite pickups of the year and probably one of my favorite pickups that I've picked up in the last two years. I'm just really excited about this model, the Comfort. Uh, I've seen people say like, listen, Jordan Brand just needs to pay you because it was your review, your sentiments on the shoe that actually uh, persuaded me to pick this up. And if I've had that influence on you, awesome. I hope you enjoy your pair. Uh, it's, a, it's a home run for me absolutely baseball pun intended it's a home run for me really glad to have this so um there are a few other colorways that are slated to come out i know there's like a really subtle neutral women's colorway in like a light blue i believe a sail and maybe a gum bottom i would love to have that in the collection as well uh but again so many other pairs are dropping throughout the year so just stay tuned make sure you read up on sneaker news and sneaker bar detroit and anywhere that you get your sneaker news some things continue to get put push back. That's just the world we live in. So that's why I say stay up to date. Continue to tune in. I appreciate your support always and forever. Thank you again. At your age, not your shoe size. Peace out. <laughs>